John, Tom and Paul, three fellows, were at a convention and they were sharing a large suite on the 75th store, story of a hotel, the top floor of a hotel, the 75th. And after a long day of meetings, they were shocked to find that all the lifts were out of order. They would have to climb 75 flights of stairs to get to their suite. So John said to Tom and Paul, let's try to make this a little bit interesting and support each other as we climb the stairs. Let's make it interesting. I'll tell jokes for the first 25 flights. Tom will sing, you sing some songs for the next 25. And Paul, tell some sad stories for the last 25 flights. At the 26th floor, John stopped telling jokes and Tom began to sing. At the 75th, Tom stopped singing and Paul began to tell sad stories and said, I'll tell you the saddest story of all. I've left the room key in the car. Sadness is part and parcel of life. And today in the gospel, it's all about doubting Thomas. We're not quite sure about Thomas, but there's no doubt that Thomas wasn't in a good place emotionally. And it's very interesting that the disciples also weren't in a great place because in the gospel today, Jesus says to them three times, peace be with you. So that suggests that they may have been a little bit uneasy and a bit unrestful, if you know what I mean. But Thomas certainly wasn't in a good place. He was confused and wasn't sure what was happening. To him, Jesus' friend was gone and Thomas was grieving. And it was that sense of loss and grief that prevented him believing that Jesus had risen from the dead. But the important thing is this, he didn't give up on Jesus or his friends, or as the Americans say, he hung in there to the best of his ability. He had enough faith to be able to do that. He was open-minded enough to believe that the resurrection really did happen. And Jesus, in spite of everything, always counted Thomas as his friend, as he does with us, in spite of our weaknesses and our doubts and our fears and our anxieties and all our sins and all the rest of it, Jesus always counts us as his friends. There's nothing worse than bad news for diluting faith or shaking a person's faith. And the loss of a loved one or suffering or uncertainty can really have a negative effect on the lives of certain people. They wonder, why is this happening to me? Why is God allowing this to happen? And that's a very, very significant question. But we don't have the answers to all the questions of life or the questions of faith. It's very easy to believe when things are going well. Sometimes not so easy when things are going bad. The Lord knows how tough life can be for each and every one of us. But he knows and understands us better than we know and understand ourselves. He knows that we are a good people, trying to follow his way, his truth and his life even when life gets tough. Thomas, doubting Thomas as he is known, is living proof that you don't have to be perfect to be able to live the faith. And that really is good news for us all because all that God expects is that we do the best we can on any given day according to our circumstances and that's fine. Because even God can't expect any more than that. Because after all, we are, like Doughty Thomas, only human. I've been feeling a bit uh, depressed recently. I went to the doctor last week. He said, what's the matter, Father? And I said, well, um, I'm depressed. He said, what's the matter? I said, um, I keep doing crosswords too quickly. He said, well, try not to get too down. Have a lovely day, everybody. Hope to see you all very, very soon. And don't forget, glory, glory, Man United.